Uh, ladies and gentlemen, honorable adjudicators and fellows, esteemed debaters, I am Norman Sang here debating, supporting, advocating for a motion that a centralized UN led framework is better for the space race. Okay, starting off, we we'll go for some slight debuts, rebuttals. First thing first, um, the other team stated that uh, we sh this decentralized government, right? Can allow us to divert power to small nations and showing their independence. However, that is exactly how the UN is working right now. And better, UN has a governing body which controls that, controlling how we're doing it. Because if nation can cooperate, if humans to human cooperation have worked, we would not need the government. We would be here with our government. Remember, yours are based on interstate corporations. What if the state don't cooperate? What if they form blocks like what they did years ago in the Cold War? What would happen? How would we deal with that? Let's say, okay, we want Vietnam go wants to go to Mars, but then oh, the Russia says no, and the U.S. won't cooperate. But th they can do nothing because Russia control that part of space that lead to Mars. What happened? That will hinder our development. But furthermore. Going on my point, I would like to say, state once again, the United Nations is a comprehensive workplace, unlike your interstate cooperation, which I'd state the divided nations. Space is ours to share, and we believe, I believe we, we bring that point to the debate today as the most important point, because space is ours once again, and your interstate government cannot create a better space for us as the UN is doing right now. How many treaties have the UN signed to ensure that space is an international place not owned by any nations and it is preserved for our future generations? What if the interstate government come in there, okay? Two packs, Russia, US, US want to, well, go to Mars. Russia want to stay and, well, build a bunch of space station around Earth. And then it w what happened? Earth will be polluted and then yeah, it would split into two. The world would literally split into two blocks once again because simply it doesn't work like that. The UN is the governing power. It controls every, every move of nations in the UN and that effectively leads to the corporations of the government involved while maintaining the independencies and assisting them greatly in cooperation efforts for the space race. Now, coming to the weighing, once again, we UN government here bring to, the, bring to this debate peace via corporations, stability via our governing body, environment protections, because UN has enforced many treaties regarding this, and that's why our well, space is not as polluted as we are right now. And furthermore, we bring up the rights of the small nation to pursue the space race, because without the UN, only big nation will be able to go to space. Small nation will not stand a chance. However, on your side, we believe that uh, interstate corporations, which, like I said, we have said before, the ECOWAS, the economic group of West Africa, work on interstate cooperation. It's failing right now, leading to thousands of deaths. If you, you want, you can search that up. It is an interstate government corporations. We believe that if we were to implement yours, interstate cooperation, it will likely lead to anarchy or probably, well, neocolonialism as one state can control the other one because, yeah, they can exert their power hegemony over it. Finally, we believe that your side would form pacts and lead to war. Once again, I would like to remind the adjudicators and debater that we are the United Nations, not the divided nation, that space is ours and not yours. It is a common thing. And we, the, we UN have solved many problems that could not be solved for interstate corporations. Thank you. I rest my case.